we'll get the computer powered up too. Happy New Year. It's January 2nd, 2024, and uh, today is the first day I'm back home. This 2024, I'm doing something different, something I've never done before, and that is I'm gonna be documenting my work every single day for the entire year. This year, I'm going all in on my artist projects. I'm focusing heavily on distributing my own music. And my goal is to release a minimum of 50 songs this year, which is an average of one song per week. Now, I'm not gonna be actually releasing one song per week, that's not the strategy, but I'm gonna be releasing a minimum of 50 songs. And it occurred to me that by nature of the fact that I am writing these songs, some cases they're covers, but I'm also producing them, I'm doing all of the work on them, I'm releasing them myself, I thought it would be really valuable to document and make a video every single week, week one, week two, week three, you, you see the point. Just showcasing and just showing how I make music in the first place and what the process looks like and really helping people see what actually goes into making this happen. In September of 2023 of last year, I released my first album called Volume One and I've been releasing songs um, pretty much on an every other week basis since then. And in what is it, a little over three months, for almost four months, we've done close to 100,000 streams um, with hardly any marketing in the sense of, uh, I haven't been like posting content. This is just putting up songs, spending a little bit of money on, on ads. I wanna slow things down and I wanna just show the reality of what it looks like because the reality is a little less sexy than people think. Of course, there are moments where it's incredible. There are moments where you're thinking, wow, I just had like an hour long session that felt magical, like felt absolutely magical. But then there are days that are very boring. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna cons consist of. Today I'm gonna be editing vocals on a song that needs to be done like in the next two to three days. Um, a song that I'm collaborating on with an artist by the name of Nika Jane. She did a version, uh, she sang, uh, she and I did a version of O Come O Come Emmanuel last year. This is an original song that we've done. There's just a lot of mundane tasks that I need to get done today, specifically. And some of this is also gearing up for the new year. Um, gearing up for what is to come. Planning, organizing, some of the administrative stuff, making sure I have my content schedule mapped out. I want to just show the process. I have no idea if anyone's even gonna watch these videos. I don't know. And I'm at a point where I don't care. Uh, I want to make the thing that I love that excites me. And there's also a legacy component. I have three children now. I have a four and a half year old, a two and a half year old, and, and a nine month old. And someday my kids will be old enough. I mean, my oldest sort of gets it, um, but my kids don't really know what I do. I realize that there will come a day if what I'm hoping becomes reality, which is that the artist projects that I, that I build become my main thing, they will be old enough to know that and see that and how cool would that be to have literally every single week. This is, this is how it started. This is, I'm at the beginning of starting my artist career right now. And this is my year to make that leap. And how cool would that be for my kids someday for me to show them this video. Look at where this started. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was learning. I'm gonna get all sentimental now. I'm not gonna get all sen I'm not gonna get all sentimental now. It's a little after 7 a.m. I've been up since about six. You know, got my coffee and I'm gonna edit vocals now. <laughs> Welcome to the new year. Welcome to week one, January 2nd. Let's do this thing. All right, so for you to understand where we're at starting off this whole year and starting off today, I'm starting with a song called Stand By Me, which is a song that I wrote with an artist by the name of Nika Jane. She's uh, collaborating. We're co-releasing the song together here in just a few weeks. So we actually wrote this song late fall of last year together. We did a virtual session, and then I then produced that song and then send the track to her for her to record her own vocals. So Nika's also a producer herself. She can track all of her own vocals. She has her own home studio. And so we're kind of picking up sort of near the tail end of a project. Now, one thing I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I already have about 20 songs in the pipeline that have already been begun uh, kind of at the tail end of last year that will be songs that we're gonna be putting out this year. So um, you're gonna be kind of coming at the beginning of this year with some songs that are either uh, still in the middle of the process, maybe further along like this one, which is just vocal production. Another song I'm gonna be doing this week is called Our Fight, which already has vocals done. I already edited the vocals. 
so next up is just mixing. But then we'll also begin working on a, on a lot of new songs that maybe they're written, but they haven't been produced. None of the instrumentals have been done yet. Kind of a wide variety because that's that's typically how it goes. I, I never start off the year completely blank, starting everything from scratch. You have to have things already kind of in the hopper. So what we're starting today is I got the vocals um, literally just a couple days ago over the New Year weekend from Nika to download. She sent me her entire session. So I'm going to be comping and editing all of these vocals. It might take a little over an hour, maybe under. I'm not quite sure how long it'll take exactly. It depends on the takes and stuff, but she usually does a great job, so I'm not terribly worried about it. So I just downloaded the vocals that Nika sent me on Stand By Me. And this is what we are looking at here. So she sent me quite a bit. Um, pretty much all this right here is the lead. And then she does a bunch of doubles. And then the harms are, I believe, octaves. All right. Well, uh, you know, went through basically an hour and a half to two hours worth of editing to then realize that I didn't have my audio routed properly. I feel so stupid. This is such a crappy way to start this whole video series. <sighs> One idiot. Basically, I didn't route my audio properly. So none of the audio coming out of my DAW. You couldn't, you couldn't hear any of it. So basically just spent a good while editing her vocals, about 45 minutes to pitch correct her vocals. And then I'm time aligning all the backup vocals. And then I still have yet to uh, pitch correct those backup vocals, which you'll actually be able to hear the audio on that. But with that said, we can just jump straight into finishing this whole thing. Let's actually do this whole vocal thing. So uh, you can actually hear what I'm doing. Let's just give you a little tease here. There's no, there's no plugins on here. So as you can see, the only thing I have is the pitch correction. There's a little bit of reverb on the backup vocals. Um, I did compress and EQ these vocals a little bit, but I printed all that down. But here's how things are sounding right now. Storm clouds on the horizon Dark forces, they're closing Than the water, we are stronger. We are all in if we're falling, and we're falling here together. When it sounds this good with like basically no processing, it's virtually dry. I don't have any reverb or anything going on in the vocals except for just a little bit of compression. Sounds great. Uh, here's the chorus. Will you stand by me? Keep on holding when we're broken. Will you stand by me? I am ready. I am ready. Will you stand by me? So there, there is some stuff. It's funny. It's like I produced a song. I actually did the production on the song about two months ago. Maybe, maybe longer, it might've been more like three months ago. And there, there's a lot of stuff when you, when you work on something that long ago, that when you listen to it, you kind of come to it with fresh ears. I haven't worked on this song in a long time because we've just been kind of waiting on vocals for this. I'll have to update some things. And so that, that'll be probably the first thing I do um, creatively, like this week is, is update some of the production on this. It doesn't need a lot, but just a little bit of just extra stuff. Um, and then obviously we'll need to mix this, but um, things are sounding really good uh, overall. Um, so the thing I need to do right now is to just double check all the pitch on every single one of these layers, uh, which we have a lot. So you can see all of these are either doubles or octaves or harmonies. Um, and so what I'm going to do is basically go through individually one by one by one, just double check the pitch um, because I use repitch, which automatically will basically snap things to the, um, to the scale, which we're in D minor. Um, but it's not always gonna be hundred percent accurate. So I'm going to basically solo out the lead vocal and then solo out my doubles and quickly just double check all the pitch. Storm clouds on the horizon. Good. Dark for It's like that music uh, effects there. Dark, dark. Dark force. Dark forces they're closing in. Good. Thicker than the water. We are stronger. Good. We're falling, then we're falling here together. So there's a breath in there. We'll we'll get rid of that eventually, uh, because it's not in the lead vocal. Dust till dawn test our patience. We are feeling. Ah, there. Fe feelings. Patience. We are feeling. Feeling. Mm. 
feel it. Feel. Feel it. Yeah, this might not be one of those things. Like we are feeling. Get to that a little sooner. Feeling. That's close. Yeah, that's pretty close. It'll be pretty tucked in. I am ready. I am ready. Will you stand by, by me? Okay, I'm gonna just go through the other ones now. And literally, that's, that's, I mean. <laughs> Storm probably... clouds on the horizon. Really boring stuff here, not gonna lie. I spent the next 20 minutes working on getting all of the vocals completely finished and pitch corrected. And when it was all said and done, from start to finish from lead vocal all the way into getting these vocals edited that I'm showing you right now was about two and a half hours. All right, so it's done. We've finished editing the vocals on this project here. Uh, the remainder of the day, I have just a bunch of just odds and ends to do. So today is like a super light day, but it's also kicking off the year, getting something done that really has got to get done first. Um, and then tomorrow I will hit it bright and early before the sun is even up. I'll be down here and we'll be starting up on some more of the creative stuff. Today was kind of boring, to be honest with you, which reality, sometimes this work is actually super dull and super boring. So fun stuff. See you in the morning. All right. Six, a little after 6 a.m. 6.20, basically. I got up since like 4.30 and I couldn't to fall back asleep and then of course I fell back asleep at like, oh, that doesn't matter. Coffee time. All right, so today is gonna be a busy day. Uh, it's January 3rd. Oh, I just have a lot of odds and ends to do. I almost feel like I just need to spend a minute just like thinking about what I need to even do today. I think I'm just gonna write a list down of all the things I need to do. I'm actually gonna go buy a planner today because I really gotta get organized. And that's not a thing I'm necessarily the best at, at times, so. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so my list is, I don't know if you can see that. Not super long, but I have a decent enough stuff I gotta do. It's time to make coffee. So basically I need to finish Stand By Me. I need to record my own vocals in the bridge and to polish the instrumental. I'd like to get a rough mix done today. I wanna record. One second. I wanna record just like scratch vocals so that way my singers can hear what the vocals are supposed to be on three songs. I think I actually might have already done, done it on one. I just have to double check, it's been a while. But on three of my hymns, I need to do that. One second. All right, gotta wet the paper, rinse. Time for the bloom, 30 seconds. Bubbling. For those that don't know, this is pour over coffee. It's the best way to make coffee. I actually haven't even owned a regular coffee maker in probably five years. I do this every single morning. It's part of my routine. So that's pretty much my day. I actually, I'm pretty confident I can get all that done. We'll see. But so again, it's gonna be another one of those days that's not super interesting. Working on the instrumental a little bit on Stand By Me, be, a Stand By Me will be good. I think I'm gonna start there. I think I'm gonna actually start there just cause my voice is not ready to record vocals or anything. But we'll start with this kind of polishing up that instrumental. You'll kind of get an idea of what's going on in the instrumental and what things I would fix. Not really fix, but more or less just kind of add and make it sound better. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a good day. <coughs> Coffee's done. One for me. one for you. I'm just kidding, this isn't for you. This is for my wife. So when she gets up, she has a nice hot cup of coffee, which probably won't be hot by the time she gets it, but it's for my wife, it's not for you. I don't have enough hands to carry everything. I'll just meet you down there. All right, so we are back in the studio. Just got the session opened. Let's get started. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, I have the instrumental down here. So the main thing I wanna do is kind of listen through the instrumental. Um, I wanna hear if there's anything in particular that I need to correct or fix. Um, or change. Than the water, we are 
You know, I, I, th I actually think that a lot of this is good. It's just, you know, there's a lot of balance issues. They, certain things seem to be louder at certain parts and whatnot. There was one thing I noticed, which is after we go from the chorus here, kind of lose this, this really nice piano sound. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna add some lower chords because right now everything's kind of up here. But we kind of lose some of the, the lower parts. And uh, this piano sound is really nice. Sweet. Yeah, I think that just kind of adds a little bit of roundedness to the sound. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look at was this cello at the very beginning and some of the strings at the very beginning. Uh, so I have this instrument called NI Sus Strings, and I noticed that I didn't, yeah, I didn't use it, which is fine because I'm going to use it now. I actually really love this patch. This is the String Ensemble Symphony Series by Native Instruments, and then using this, this Sordino, which is with a mute. It's this very beautiful. Really nice. I like it a lot. I think I'm going to add that to so just add a little bit of extra at the bottom here. Yeah, so I'm using like this really short spiccato uh, patch, and I think I might want to lengthen that a little bit. There we go. This is the Berlin strings. Yeah, this is just what the strings sound like just in, in by themselves. One thing I did that I really think is sick is this. So I basically took this bass sound, I bounced it to audio, put some distortion on it, put some tremolation, trembler on it with a 30 second note. So da -da 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 -da. then I slowed it down. It sounds so cool in context. Yeah, that brass will absolutely need to come up when we when I actually mix this because the brass is such a big part of it. It's so sick. So I need to record my own vocals on this, which I'll I'll wait till probably I don't know maybe I'll do that in maybe like half an hour. Um, so you make sure all the kiddos are awake before I start singing. Um, finish that, and then once we're done with that, we can actually move on to mix. I think I think once I get my vocals cut on this, it should be pretty quick to get a mix on it. This is already sounding pretty decent, so it's more about like I, I don't really hear too many like EQ issues. A lot of that stuff I try to fix earlier on. So yeah, take a breather. All right, back to it. Took a little bit of a breather break. Got a little more coffee. Wait, where's my coffee? <sighs> I left my coffee in the microwave. <laughs> I, I just need to get a, like a little coffee warmer or something. Shoot, I didn't even start the microwave. What am I doing here? All right, so we're gonna do vocals on Stand By Me for the bridge. This shouldn't take long, maybe 15 to 20 minutes max. Just gonna record, I don't know, three, four layers of every part, maybe more, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, let's do this thing. Mmm, power it up, baby. Let's go, get the coffee coffee. Anyone who says don't drink coffee when you sing, they're an idiot. <laughs> Obviously don't know what they're talking about. Let's let's set this up and do it, shall we? Let's do it. All right, I'm just going to literally set up like right here. Can you even see me? I feel like that's probably better. 
All right, so. All right, just basically getting a level. I'm gonna do four of these. Basically, I spent the next 15 minutes adding multiple layers on top of themselves. I sang this melody about four different times. I sang a harmony, and then I sang a third harmony. That was a little rough. Uh, that was at times rough, but we got the job done. Stand, will you? Stand, will you? Stand. So, look at that, all color-coded, all beautiful. It looks so nice. I love it, I love it. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I get to this part of the process, I'm like, ugh, I don't wanna mix it right now. Ugh, but I should, I should mix it today. Um, anyway, I think what I'm gonna do right now is actually get that set up. Alrighty, so, 8.40, we are literally ready to mix. So, um, I'm gonna get breakfast right now, yeah? I'm gonna get breakfast and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna mix this and I'm just gonna try to get a first draft mix done today, come back at it tomorrow, see where we're at and then usually I sleep on it. I don't ever make a decision to finalize something until I know for sure. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go get some food, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything today, so breakfast time. All right, so breakfast is over. So it's like 9.45 right now in the morning and my goal is to get this song mixed Probably in the next hour, which I think is very doable. I'm gonna show you a little pro tip though to get more done. See this here? This is a phone. Ready for this? Let's see. Do not disturb. Turn your phones on, do not disturb when you work. Yep, there you go. And I'm sure some people are gonna go in the comments and be like, are you literally gonna mix with headphones on? And the answer is yes, I am. Sue me, I know, I know how my headphones sound. So get over it. Oh yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is basically start working on overall balance. Um, wanna make sure things are sitting where they need to be sitting. So I like starting at the loudest part of the song and then working my way backwards. So we're gonna do just that. Now I'm obviously not gonna show you an entire hour long mix session. If you wanna see an entire mix breakdown of this, I'm gonna be adding the entire mix session into Producer Accelerator, which is my course. But the gist of what I was doing in this entire session is a lot of automation. That was almost the entire hour was just automating volume. I did a few things with reverb. I obviously processed the vocals and a handful of other things, but the overall theme of this entire mix session was simply automation making sure that the volume space was where it needed to be. Alrighty, so we're basically exactly half an hour in and look at how much automation there is here. This is really what so much of this is. Drums don't have as much automation, but like strings and keys, there's a crazy amount of automation everywhere. And that's what I was talking about. Like I haven't even really used EQ a whole lot apart from like maybe on the kick and some other places, but the majority of this is just literally b balance of volume and getting things sitting where they need to be sitting. <laughs> Let's get vocals in. Look at that. I said like an hour, right? Let's go to the top. I'm just gonna mute out the vocals except for the lead. I wanna get my lead processed and, and kind of hashed out first. Storm clouds on the horizon. Dark forces they're closing in. We are stronger. We are all in. If we're falling, then we're falling here together. I don't really need any of that. Some of the compression is adding a little bit of lows. It's not like, like kind of mids I don't want. Storm clouds on the horizon. Yeah. Be pretty, pretty aggressive here. Dark forces, they're closing in. I'm gonna add a room reverb. Storm clouds on the horizon. Just adds a little bit of width. Dark forces, they're closing in. All right, I'm gonna create a delay reverb. Or not delay reverb, a delay. And then I'm gonna put a reverb after it because I like how that sounds. Storm clouds on the horizon. There we go. 
I'm gonna put a ducker on it. Storm clouds on the horizon. So I'm basically gonna copy the chain. Tend to like that. I tend to not really feel like I need to change the chain a whole lot. And I will just copy over the plugins. I usually then make it different with the sends, with the reverb that I'm using. I'll use a slightly different reverb. Storm clouds on the horizon. Love this, yep. Thicker than the water, we are stronger. We are Pretty much the entire remainder of working on the vocals was automating the volume to make sure in every section the vocals were very clearly on top, and that is pretty much it. Alrighty, so basically a little under an hour to do that. Go. My ears are a little shot, so I'm gonna take a breather. I'm gonna take a break. I'm just gonna do some odds and ends, uh, step away for a minute, and then we'll come back and I kind of need to evaluate what else I have to do today. Also, I have to pee so bad. I'm literally physically in pain right now. Alrighty, we're back. And uh, I am about to pull up some hymns from my new project that will not be coming out till March 29th. So you guys are seeing like a, a preview preview and I kind of realized like maybe this is stupid because like I'm showing you all songs that are not even released. Like some of these songs won't come out for like two months, three months. That's okay though, right? That's fine. So I have this whole record, right? It, can you see that? Is that so bright? That's so freaking bright. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. There you go. It's it's like 12 songs. It's my hymns album. Um, so I'm pulling up Amazing Grace. I'm gonna be having an artist by the name of Moonwater singing on this. She's amazing. She's killer. And uh, I'm just going to record a dummy vocal on this so she can hear kind of how the melody is gonna go. Not, I mean, it's Amazing Grace, right? But like, just there are some different things I'm doing. I just wanna make sure that if there are any specific things, um, she has an idea of what those are. I already did this for How Great Thou Art. I'm gonna do this for Be Thou My Vision and Blessed Assurance because I have Sailor Wilterding coming in the studio on Friday to do that. Yeah, this is really low for me, so it's gonna sound a little funky. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. How precious did that grace appear. His grace has brought me safe thus far. These were my hopes secured. Will be forever mine. All right, that was super rough. That was super rough. The point here is not, come here, come here, just, just <coughs> come here. Okay, so the, the point here is not perfection. You know what I'm saying? Like this, it's not gonna be perfect. So that's good enough at least. So I'm just gonna export this right now. <clears throat> we're gonna move on to the next song, which is Be Thou My Vision. And then we're gonna do Blessed Assurance. Actually, I actually think, I think I might've already done Blessed Assurance, but I, I can't remember. I'll have to talk about the hymns thing. Let's talk about the hymns thing, shall we? All right, so I'm working on a full length album that is, I don't know if I would say concept album, Am I recording? I just about had a heart attack. It's not a concept album, but you know, I studied music in school, in college, in the university, and you know, we studied symphonies and we studied song form and I took uh, a lot of theory classes, music history and all of this stuff. And one thing that always deeply fascinated me, and I actually did a lot of this when I was in school comp composition wise, is writing a collection of songs that are meant to go together. So with this hymns project, I wanted to take a bunch of hymns, traditional Christian hymns and put it together in a way that felt more like a symphony. Obviously you just heard what I played right now, which is very orchestral. This, this is by far the most orchestral uh, thing that I've ever released. Uh, like, you know, a lot of the music that I'm doing on my other project, just my name project is like, it's more like pop, cinematic, dark, alternative pop. Like there's cinematic stuff into it, but it's not just like orchestra, right? This is like very big, like orchestra, like full writing and stuff like that. What I wanted to do with this whole hymns album was have an overture that introduced themes and ideas and concepts that you would hear sprinkled throughout the entirety of, of the whole record. And that's what I've done. I have 10 of the 12, uh, at least instrumentally produced so far. And I started with this overture, which is an adaptation of the doxology, which is a very popular um, piece of music that's sung in Christian churches. And obviously it's kind of liturgical. And I wanted to take 
fragments of this melody and just literally put it throughout the entirety of this album. And there's patterns and ideas and concepts that I use just over and over and over again. Like, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Gotta move you here. Like, for example, we have... That's the melody of the doxology. But on the overture, I actually slow it way down and I kind of manipulate it to where it's like, So it's like half as slow and it's there, but you almost have to like be listening for it to know that, oh, this is like the doxology, but half as fast. And then it kind of morphs and adapts and manipulates. And I'll certainly have to show you the, the actual track itself, but that's one thing. And then the other thing I did is I used patterns and I use these patterns throughout the entirety. In fact, this pattern shows up in Amazing Grace. Uh, and if you're really paying attention, I guess you could go back and listen or whatever, but you'll probably hear it more in a future portion. I don't know when I'm gonna work on it next, but one idea. So what that is, is a G major seven chord. And it's going from root seven, five, three, which is the, the actual notes. That's a G major seven chord uh, in root position, but I'm basically inverting it. And then I'm turning that into what's called an ostinato pattern. And an ostinato pattern is essentially like a repeated idea that repeats over top of other things. So for example, I can take this. What's really cool is I can actually change the chords underneath of what's happening here. And this stays the same and it feels different with every chord change. This is G. A minor. We'll go to C. I literally just played like, ah. Basically every single chord I could possibly play, not every chord, but all the diatonic chords within that scale. And it fits, it fits because your ear becomes used to this. But then what if you reorder these notes? Or it's the exact same notes, but I change the ostinato pattern. And that's what I do throughout the whole album. So you'll hear these moments where you're like, oh, I hear a four note pattern, but it doesn't sound exactly like it did before. It's in a different key. Maybe the chord's inverted. Maybe the order of the notes is different, but you hear it all the way through 12 songs. You get this melody showing up in 12 songs of the doxology. It pops up here and there. It'll kind of poke its head out. Sometimes it's very like tucked in and hidden. Other times it's very upfront. In Blessed Assurance, there's an actual song doxology at the end. But the whole idea was I wanted to create an album that was designed where you would sit down and you listen from the very beginning to the very end, the overture to the end, to the reprise. And it feels more like a symphony. So that was the idea behind Risen, this album. And again, it's not coming out for another like three months, two months, March 29th on Good Friday is when it'll come out. It'll be kind of cool to show you as I make it because I haven't even done in Christ alone or before the throne of God. There's a lot to do. I'm still going to record some choir. Sailor's the first vocalist that we're recording. That's on Friday this week. And then Amazing Grace is going to happen soon thereafter. So there's a lot to this. Um, but it's a beautiful thing to like make things thematic and work on a record, work on an album where the whole thing is interwoven. It's interconnected. You're, you're supposed to listen to it from start to finish. And you don't fully understand the entirety of the picture without hearing it from beginning to end. That was the rationale behind this whole thing. And that, like, that's the thing I'm so excited about with this. And I had so many moments of just strong emotion while I was working on it. And obviously I'm still working on it. Um, and I'm sure you'll see some of that. I, I've gotten pretty emotional while, while working on this. And um, it's, been, it's been really cool. It's been really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, I've talked for long enough. This video is already probably gonna be this video is probably already gonna be way longer than people are gonna wanna watch. Okay, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs>
I'm looking at my list of things I've done today. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? Can you see this? I'm scratching it off. It's not even like one o'clock in the afternoon yet. We are almost, we're almost done with my day and I'm gonna take a couple hours and run some errands and do some odds and ends. Okay. So, um, blessed assurance, I actually did already record some vocals. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna show you the start of this because it's so freaking sick. So remember how I was telling me that whole doxology thing? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And how that like shows up again? Check this out. Blessed assurance. There it is. And then remember that whole ostinato thing? Heck yeah. Then I got this crazy key change. Listen to this. Praising my Savior all the day Have the the next chord or the next verse, which I'm gonna record right now. That's actually gonna be me singing. That's actually gonna be me singing. Um, I'm gonna record just a dummy version of that, so then she can hear that. Um, but I will actually realize. I just realized I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. I'm gonna have to actually track that out tomorrow. Whose idea was this to film every single day? This is a little high, but we're gonna have to make it work. Perfect submission. All is at rest. I am my savior, am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long all the day I mean, that kind of sucked. <laughs> I don't know why. Why is this song getting me so, why? I don't know why I, I've gotten so emotional working on these songs. Oh, don't do it. Shoot, I think I might actually just do vocals. I'm saying these are dubbing vocals. Why am I saying these are dummy vocals? I'm just gonna actually do it. Why not just freaking do it? I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I say as I cough. After I decided to go ahead and just do the vocals for real, I did a couple takes and very quickly realized that one of the time signature changes that I made was not working. So I had to stop and fix that, which was incredibly frustrating. Okay, there's something I'm not liking about that. I actually don't, I'm gonna chop off a, a beat here. So basically, I'm not liking this four four bar here on this one last thing. So I just need to grab everything and just move it a bar or not a bar, a beat. Ah, this is so janky. I don't like this. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ah, this is so frustrating. All right, well, I think it's good enough that I can actually do the vocals, but this has been one of the most frustrating things ever. Oh my gosh. Golly days, you'd think it'd be as simple as just changing the time signature and we could be done with this. We'll actually do the vocals now. What do you know? Crazy, crazy. We're gonna just try this again, shall we? Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my savior, am happy and blessed. This is my story, this is my song. Raising my Savior all day long This is my story, this is my song Raising my Savior all day long It's so 
unbelievably high. This is so high. <laughs> My voice is, uh, my voice is tired. Yeah, there's literally no chance. There's literally no chance I'm gonna get that right now. I overdid it. I overdid it, did it. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll see if any of these takes are usable. I don't know. I don't know if they're usable. Basically at this point, I just decided to go ahead and get a comp that was sufficient enough to send a sailor. I think that is enough that she'll be able to do harmonies with it. Cause then I'll just redo it when my voice is feeling a little better. <clears throat> okay, that was fun. Was that fun? Guys, I'm wiped. I'm so pooped right now. Fortunately, the dummy vocals were already done on Be That My Vision because I, yeah. Not a fan of doing that right now. Not a fan. So I'm already looking at next week and I'm kind of like, oh crap, because um, my middle child, uh, my daughter, her name's Ruby. She's two and a half. Uh, she is having um, a surgery. Um, she's having a surgery, a tonsillotomy. Uh, she, it's, it's a long story, um, but that's, that's been a stressful thing. Um, she's been having breathing issues and, and whatnot. And, sleep apnea and anyway, her tonsils are way too big. So that's gonna throw a little bit of a wrench in next week. It's on Tuesday. Um, yep. This will be the first time experiencing that <clears throat> with kids. Um, anesthesia, surgery, all that stuff. I know it's like, you know, it's a pretty safe procedure, but um, nonetheless, it's scary as a parent. And obviously, uh, yeah. I don't have much control over stuff, so I think I think I'm gonna call it for the day. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking. This is I've been talking too long. Okay, bye. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow because I'm I'm shutting down for the day. <laughs> Peace out. See you tomorrow. Hmm, usually takes me a second to kind of wake up. <clears throat> it's a little after 6 a.m., it's about 6.10. But look at what I got here. I got a planner, went to Target yesterday to buy this and didn't really think about all the people that are there getting school supplies. It was so busy. Uh, anyway, the next week is gonna be a little a little bizarre, not super ideal. We're gonna make it work. Today, about 10.45 to noon, I'm gonna be taking a break and spending some time with my son. Tomorrow I have a recording session, but pretty much what needs to happen today is I would like to get uh, another mix on Stand By Me. I listened to it a few times um, yesterday in my car and just headphones on my iPhone. I'm gonna listen a little bit more here in just a minute. And the big thing that I noticed is that the drums are just not hitting very hard. Um, so when the big drums come in, they need to be a lot more powerful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that today. Love how the vocals sound. Everything else is sounding really good. The other thing I need to do is I need to notate uh, string parts for two songs I'm recording live strings on. So I need to do that today. I have a recording session on Wednesday next week with the cellist. And then the week after that, I have a recording session with a violist for two separate songs. That shouldn't take long. In fact, I think I might start my day that way, just because that'll be pretty easy. Low hanging fruit to finish and just get done. That's for the hymns record. I think I'm gonna try to finish uh, mixing our fight. I was meaning to do that yesterday and I was so fried. My ears were also pretty fried that I didn't get to it yesterday. So there you go. Basically mix two songs notate strings and then get vocals ready for Sailor. And then next week on Tuesday, my daughter has surgery. Recording session on Monday morning with Nika for two songs on the Hymns Project. So I already have some things lined up for next week. Let's get the coffee ready. The bloom. This whole week has really just been kind of a weird way to start the year. It's like odds and ends, editing vocals, getting some mixed stuff done. It doesn't really feel like a, a start, to be honest with you. I think next week's gonna be a lot more interesting, I think. I'm gonna spend some time just listening to this mix of Stand By Me so I can have it fresh in my ears.
I'm gonna start with Stand By Me, get a mix on that, then I'm gonna come to Notating Strings. Once I'm done with Notating Strings, um, I will tackle our fight, and I think we're gonna go ahead and finish mixing our fight, which I think, I really don't think that's gonna take long. I think it might actually be pretty much done. I was listening to it the other day, and or yesterday. I feel like the only thing that needs work is to maybe some vocals, and then adding that element that Tommy suggested, so. <clears throat> that's it, coffee is done. Let's see you downstairs. Do not disturb. Turn it on. All right, it's 6.40 in the morning. We're gonna start by just finishing the mix on Stand By Me, or at least getting another draft done. So I'm gonna start <clears throat> with the thing I don't wanna do the most, and that is fixing these vocals. I'll show you what it is. Gang vocals. Stand, will you, stand? you can hear all those S's there especially, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. We don't even need all of them. As long as people can hear the S, that's all that matters. That might've been the only one. That was a much easier fix than I thought it was gonna be. I might actually just move a couple of these too to stay, that way it's a little more clean. There you go. That's literally it. That was easy. I love it when that happens. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to the beginning and try to get the volume a little a little better here. So similar to yesterday, what I'm doing here is automating the volume of the instrumental to push it up. I felt like the instrumental was a little quiet in comparison to the rest of the song at the beginning. I think it's a lot better. So basically I was just pushing most everything up, trying to get the vocal to kind of, so instead of pushing the vocal down and then as a result, everything coming down, I'm pushing everything up because the vocal felt good to me. Like when I went from verse two and listened to verse two to start and then I go back to verse one, I listen, like the vocal is pretty well consistent. It's the instrumental that is needing a little bit more. The other thing that we need to do is figure out how to get these drums hitting a little bit better. One of the things I was thinking about is I pan these trailer hits and I'm almost wondering if that was a mistake. <laughs> Maybe I just need more. There's a lot of transient on that one. So maybe what I'll do. I spent a little bit of time just simply working on getting the volume pushed up. And then I also used an 1176 compressor to add a little bit more punch to the snare and just bring all the drums up a fair amount. So I hear the context of basically going in from the verse into the, the night, where the drums come in. Try turning everything down by like one dB except for the drums. Patience, we are feeling thicker than the water. There we go. We are so I just realized um, there's like no riser. Basically, what I'm gonna do here is add this symbol swell slash riser to going into this final moment, it feels like it just needs a little something. Yep, the last thing is, is that this transition between the chorus and the bridge. Feel, feels like it needs an extra element. I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna do it because it, it actually feels like it really genuinely needs it. Uh, and that is, I'm actually just gonna add another instrument in here. Um, Rise and Hit is kind of my go-to for these types of things. I think I need one that actually legitimately kind of drops down. I think we'll do that. This should be one of the last things I need to do. I think it needs one more thing. Um, I'm hoping you're hearing that as well. It, ju it just feels like it doesn't quite 
push into it enough, like it needs another uh, another thing. And, and so I think what I'm gonna do is add a sub drop, like a boo, like an actual pitched sub drop, which for this I use Substance. I have a, a one that I literally use all the time. It's called Apocalypse Drop. That's just the We're only gonna use the sub. Need to change. I think the problem is that the length is correct, but um, the problem is is that it doesn't really matter if it's so low that you can't even hear it. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna put this in here with the drops and stuff. All right, so it took about 25 minutes total to do all those changes. Um, so yeah, about an hour and a half on this. Obviously it might not be done. Uh, I might still have to make some more changes, but I'm gonna go ahead and export this. We got our list done. <laughs> we got of things. So um, I, I find it very valuable, very helpful to actually, like I have a whole Google doc on my hymns album of mixed note of like notes. And it's like four or five pages of notes to make changes on tracks. So um, we got that done. So the next thing that we're gonna do is notate strings. So I've got two songs that have solo strings that we're gonna be recording live. Um, I have um, musicians actually in different countries that are gonna be playing it, so let's do that. <sighs> Took the hoodie off. We're getting serious now. Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Um, we're gonna notate strings now. I love notation, uh, but it's really time consuming, so I'm not actually gonna bring you along. I'll time lapse this so you can just kinda see what I'm doing, but if you are interested in like notating music in Finale, I feel so embarrassed I'm even telling you this, but like back in 2016 when I started this channel, my first few videos were literally on finale notation. Um, they are terrible, but apparently they've helped a lot of people, so that's cool. In this video, I'll be showing you how to import MIDI from Logic Pro as an XML file. And in this video, I'll be showing you what I've come to believe is the fastest way to enter notes in finale. Anyway, I'm gonna be using XML to import into finale. So basically I can take what I've done in Logic, I can export the MIDI, as XML, I'm sure I'm saying words that a lot of people don't even understand, but basically you can convert it into information that Finale can then understand and plug it in. So then the only thing I have to do is notate the expression and dynamics and other things like that. So you know what, what the heck, I'll just, I'll just show you what it sounds like MIDI. So then when we actually add the live strings next week, you can, you can hear the difference. It's gonna be really cool, right? All right. So there's not a lot. It's this solo cello part right here. There's very little. So there's not, there's not a whole lot, but I'm just going to show you, this is how the whole thing starts. Oh, by the way, do you remember that whole like thing I was telling you about that? Like Austin auto pattern? Yeah. There it is. Skip ahead, this is where it comes back in again. At this point, all I have left to do is get the MIDI file ready to go, export it as an XML, import it into Finale, format, add expression, dynamics, and all the other odds and ends so the cellist doesn't think I'm a total noob. And then I have to upload all these files to Musaversal. I'm using a platform called Musaversal, which gives me access to a roster of professional musicians all over the world. This is not a sponsored video, but I am trying it out for the first time. So I have the recording sessions already scheduled and I'll be able to attend those via Zoom. Okay, so I got cello notated for one of the hymns, took about 20 minutes. So I still have to do another one. It was the, it's the hymn, Were You There? That is solo viola. I forgot how much detail work there is. I also forgot and didn't realize how much dead time, like waiting time, like you're exporting things are waiting, you're bouncing things are waiting. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, move on to the next one, um, which is gonna literally be the same thing. So we'll just probably time lapse it and uh, have fun watching me notate, I guess. Enjoy this exclusive experience of music notation. Terms and conditions may apply. All right, so I am done. Yeah, it was like maybe not quite an hour total to notate. I did have to export what's called a tempo map because there's a bunch of tempo changes and like speed ups and stuff like that on this track. So um, I'll show you what I mean. So you can see here on the top, right there, there's all these tempo changes and like speed ups and stuff like that. And in order to do a session like this, you have to export a tempo map. So I have to make sure that they have the exact same tempos as I have. So um, anyway, I'm not gonna talk about how to do that, but basically I had to export a tempo map, obviously get the scores. I'm gonna go ahead and export the audio files here so they 
have the audio files too. So got that finished and uh, it's just about breakfast time. So I'm gonna go get breakfast here in just a little bit. Let's do it. Breakfast is over. I had breakfast. I also spent a good amount of time listening to the Stand By Me mix that I just did. Sounds so much better. Oh my gosh, it is so much better. The drums hit so much better. The start sounds so much, everything. So much better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep on that <laughs> and probably see if I cannot get a final polish tomorrow in the case that it needs it. It might not even need it. It sounds great. It sounds so good. The other thing that I did is I listened to Our Fight, which is the song, you haven't even heard it yet, so. I feel kind of bad about that. This first week I feel is like um, you stepping into the like tail end of things, so I'm so sorry. I know this is probably the most boring video you've ever seen in your entire life. I promise next week will be more interesting. There's gonna be a little bit more new stuff starting next week. <laughs> ah, just so dumb. So anyways, just the way, way the cookie crumbles. Bruce Almighty. Anyways, but I was talking about our fight and then I totally forgot what I was saying. I listened to the, the mix that I have, which I called my rough mix. Honestly, it sounds, it sounds done. Like, I haven't listened to it in probably close to a week, since last week. This thing sounds freaking done. I'm gonna try doing this little snare thing that Tommy had suggested just to add it in there. Let's just open up our fight. I'm gonna show you kind of what's going on. I'll show you a little bit of the song, you know? It'll be cool, it'll be cool. Let's do it. Okay, opening up the session. This is empty. Hold, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take care of that in like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we're ready. Oh man, I just spilled water. Really? Let's just take a look at the song. I'm just gonna show you the very beginning of it, just kind of the whole thing. I got vocals here, instrumental. This is a big track. It's got almost 100 tracks, so let's, let's just take a listen. Waking up into the darkness We were told that we could fight this Times are changing right before us Leaders rising that we can't trust This revolution that we've been fighting It's time to stand up No use in crying No use in crying No use in crying It's time to rise It's time to fight Lift up your eyes I love this song so much. Yeah, there was so many cool things, like this little synth thing that I did at the beginning. Yeah, that, that was super cool. I love that. Now, the thing that uh, Tommy, the one and only Tommy Prophet, suggested is I put on, I'm gonna show you just where it is. I'm gonna go to the final chorus. Um, and it was on the final chorus, you were suggesting doing more of like a hip hop snare. Almost like, not like a rim, but like a psh kind of snare. You'll, you'll hear what I'm talking about. So right now I just have like a distorted snare. It's time to rise. It's time to fight. I gotta say, this, this track, I freaking love this track. Okay, I'll just call this Hip Hoppity Snare Doodle. I'm hilarious. <laughs> the haters will say I'm cocky. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so let's 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 find some some stuff. Um, s drums. What? Why is it showing me all these rims? These aren't. I don't want. To. Hip hoppy doodle snare doodle doodle. Can I find those snares again? Of course not. It's time to run. Wow.
I think that actually works really well. I like that sound a lot. I'm gonna put the vocals in. It's time to rise. It's time to fight. Tommy, if you were right. I love that. That sounds dope. I just had to find the right sound. This is the thing, if you don't have the right sound, an idea is just an idea and you can't actually, uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so there you go, that is that is it. Alrighty, so just got the work done on our fight. That took about 20 minutes to do. Sounds great, I'm so happy with this song. One of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites I've worked on. Starting off the year great, so Stand By Me is basically done, our fight is basically done, both these songs are releasing this month, and I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, they're releasing this month, you're supposed to upload your music like four weeks in advance. <laughs> I know! That might have been too much. Was that too much? Was that too much of a zoom? But I don't know what I'm doing. I know. I know. But you know what? Look, if Connor Price and Nick D can just like make a song and then like upload it, so can I. Because I'm obviously as successful as they are. <laughs> My goal is to have Stand By Me done, mastered tomorrow, so then I can get it ready for distribution for next Friday. So the second Friday of the month that'll go up and then our fight will go up three weeks from tomorrow. So yeah, you'll be watching this video and then like next, like it'll be up <coughs> in a few days. So if you're watching this video the day it's up, which is Monday, the January 8th or whatever, um, you can listen to Stand By Me in its entirety from beginning to end on Friday. That's when it'll be up. You can go follow me on Spotify if you want. I need to go. I need to get ready for picking up my kid. I'm literally still wearing sweatpants right now. I've worn sweatpants every day this week. Working from home is awesome. All right, I'm gonna go, bye. What are you drinking? Yeah, pretty good, huh? Come on, uh, little cheers. There we go. All righty, I just got back from coffee with my boy. It was awesome, it was great, but I'm very tired. I've not been sleeping good. Uh, actually for probably the last week, I just slept horribly over the new year and the several days we were traveling and have not been able to get back into a groove and rhythm with falling asleep and staying asleep. I've been waking up at like 4.30, can't fall back asleep. I should just get up. <laughs> anyway, the good news is I'm pretty far ahead of where I need to be this week. So I'm going to do just a bunch of brainless tasks because I do not want to start next week tired. Um, next week, I'm going to start a bunch of new stuff and do a lot more creative work. So this week has honestly just been finishing things, a bunch of boring crap. I'm really excited to start some new stuff. I'm going to start a new song next week. It's so sick. <coughs> and then I'm working on a cover of Viva La Vida, the Coldplay song. I have a lot of cool stuff I'm going to be doing next week. Very creative work, right? It's going to be legit. Plus, uh, not going to work Tuesday because I'll be at the hospital with my daughter. But um, anyways... I don't know if I'll see you the rest of the day. Maybe I'll see you later. Maybe not. I don't know. If not, I'll just start tomorrow, I guess. We'll see ya. All right. I just got done listening to Stand By Me. Sounds great, I don't think there's anything else I wanna change. My day is gonna be a lot different than I expected because I got a text from Sailor last night saying that she is sick, so our vocal session was canceled today, which is really unfortunate because she's heading back out of town. She doesn't, she's not, she doesn't live where I live. Tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, next week. So next week I was going to have, have a vocal session on Monday with Nika. I'm having to replace that session with Sailor, so Sailor will be here on Monday. She, yeah, Sailor leaves on Thursday, so pretty much have to make that work. So hopefully she's feeling better by then. And then I'm waiting to hear back from Nika to find out when she would be cool to reschedule. Uh, I'm gonna listen to Our Fight right now, and um, I realized I wanna add some choir at the end. I just wanna see how that sounds. Um, I think it could be really sick to add some choir, so I'm gonna listen to it uh, now. But looking at what I have today, next week's gonna be a pretty odd week because my middle child is having a tonsillotomy on Tuesday, my two and a half year old. It's a long story and I'm not gonna really get into it. 
but pretty much from Tuesday morning through Wednesday morning, I'm gonna be with her because she has to stay overnight at the hospital. So next week's gonna be a little interesting because I have a, I think, recording session with Sailor. I have a cello recording session on Wednesday. Yeah, next week's gonna be crazy. I, I think today I'm gonna try to uh, do a bunch of admin stuff that I don't wanna do. I'm gonna make cover art for our fight and stand by me. So working on cover art is kind of like, it just depends on how much of an idea I have, but sometimes I'll just use a platform like Mid Journey, which is using AI to come up with ideas and spark some ideas. And then from there, I'll use Photoshop or Canva to actually make them. Alexa, add coffee to grocery. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna take a listen to our fight, see if there's anything beyond the choir that I wanna do. I'll see you down there. I just got down into the studio and um, <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna start working on some cover art stuff because I don't know if my brain is quite ready for creative work, music, creative work, art, artwork is still creative, but <clears throat> I think I need a little bit to just breathe. Man, I really hope I can get caught up on sleep this weekend, but let's, uh, Let's do some cover art. I spent about an hour and a half working on cover art for both Stand By Me and some concepts for our fight and found that I needed to actually take a real picture for our fight. I spent about an hour and a half doing a bunch of odds and ends, just a bunch of random stuff. Um, but I did work on some cover art material uh, for Stand By Me and Our Fight. Really happy with both. Um, I'll show you on the screen what they look like right now. Our fight is going to be different. Uh, that image is actually from a music video that I shot maybe a year and a half ago. So I'm gonna update that image. I'm gonna do more of a side facing profile. That one, I'm kind of, my head is kind of tilted this way, uh, but you can't really make out the, the silhouette as well. I'm gonna take an image today. I'm gonna take a picture today of that. I'm going to, uh, here, I'll show you kind of, probably in this corner here, I'll turn all the lights off and, make sure there's plenty of space behind me. I'll take this picture as like a side profile shot, make sure it's all silhouette, silhouetted, which I'm not gonna get into all the camera setting stuff. I think what I'm gonna do right now is actually go upstairs, get breakfast, and just spend a little bit of time with my kids. Um, this week's been a little hectic, and with the holidays and everything, I feel like I haven't had a lot of time with my kids. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of time, and then I'll take some pictures, uh, bring those into Photoshop, Lightroom, all that jazz, and then um, I'm gonna add the choir to our fight. I'll do that a little bit later. Let's do it. Go team. All right, so I'm gonna be using this camera, which is what I usually use to record this stuff, to take the picture for the cover art of our fight. And so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of show you roughly what I'm gonna do. All right, so you check this here. At this point, I just have to go back and forth testing the lighting, making sure I have my settings correct and making sure everything looks how I want it to look. And after quite a bit of testing, I finally got it figured out and it looks awesome. I need to go just like fix my hair. I can see like the back of my hair is sticking up and then I'm gonna put a black shirt on and then we'll be good to go. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> Got my hair on nice. I think that's cool. Let's pull this into the computer and see how it looks. Got the SD card. Drag it into Lightroom and see what we can do. Oh yeah. Bring the exposure down and contrast up. That looks sick. I did some work in Lightroom and then I added it into Photoshop. It went through a bunch of overlaying and compositing and it ended up looking like this. Look at that. I basically just like changed the opacity so like it's more of like bleeding into it. That is super cool. I love that. I think that's I think that's it. I'm just not even gonna overthink it on this. That's it. I don't really want to spend any more time on it, so we're done with that. We're done with that. Okay. I don't think you guys understand. I don't think you guys understand. I don't even know the last time I actually wore jeans. Do you see this? I'm wearing jeans right now. I've literally worn sweatpants every single day this week. I used to love wearing jeans and then the more I work from home, the more I'm like sweatpants, baby. But they're not like lame sweatpants. They're the nice, like kind of close fit ones, you know, that kind of look a little more styled. I don't know. That and joggers. Here's what we're doing. We're gonna add choir at the end of our fight. The library I'm gonna use for this is a library called Choir Omnia. I actually need to get some more libraries. Um, choir Omnia, there we go. Let's do Sopranos. We'll just do the light.
but when I let go, it's like finishing the phrase. That's friggin' sick. So we're just gonna invert that so that way it's lower. Ending, I think I'm gonna do a little different. Kind of like a shorter. We'll see, we'll see about men. We'll see, we'll maybe add some tenors here, just like high tenor. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> sick uh that is freaking sick um <laughs> just got the choir part added it's 10 45 in the morning um today's this is the only thing i've done creative so far today well that's not true this is the only thing musical i've done today and um yeah i think i'm just gonna go ahead and give this a listen it's five o'clock on friday i severely severely underestimated how much I had to do today that was not music oriented to the point to where as disappointed as I was I did not have Sailor here. I'm actually kind of thankful now. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna still need to get the song Our Fight and Stand By Me mastered because I still did not get that done which I feel so stupid about because I was like really wanted to do that this afternoon and then I got a mind-numbing headache and then um and then yeah I had a, a session with my producer accelerator members that we did live that was two hours long and uh, yeah, so basically all I had to say, I did not do as much music today as I was thinking I was gonna do. And I'm looking back on the week now and I'm actually really thankful. And the reason I'm thankful is because this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And as I look at this year and I think about everything that this year is going to involve, especially with filming and documenting and editing and everything that goes into just the logistics of that, I'm thankful that I did not go as hard as I could have possibly gone today. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. I'll see you on Monday. I'm gonna go spend time with my kids. You guys ready to go to the library? Yeah. Can I have a big hug? Can I have a big hug? Yeah, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm gonna be staying with Nora! Very sweet. Mwah! Alright, kiss Nora. Yeah, give me a hug, guys. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 